hello friends i welcome you all from hlt of tech channel and today we will see how we can open the visio files in sharepoint 2019 environment we have already configured one uh, website uh, which i am going to show you here this is my website and in this website uh, as we have as you all know that we have configured it uh, in our previous videos uh, now it there was a document center if you remember we created one document center of our site in which uh, our organization want to place all the all the public documents okay so here you can see that I have uploaded a one test drawing of uh, Visio uh, VSDX extension if I click it you will see that uh, it's giving me an error while accessing it on the uh, web access because uh, this is the uh, this is because uh, Visio service is not configured in my environment so for making so for making uh, my Visio uh, files to be accessible online to all users what I have to do I have to go into my central admin and activate the service of Visio services for creating that I will click on new and here you can select Visio graphic service I will name it as Visio graphic service and uh, you can name its uh, let me tell you one thing that whenever you create any service of SharePoint it will create some application pools okay it's very important to understand the pools I, I will show you here when it will be configured uh, okay I'm going to add a pool that is Visio graphic service app pool okay and uh, a security account for this application pool I am leaving it default as my SharePoint 19 admin and I will click on OK to create the service it will take some time and after that time a new video graphic service application will be created ok viewers if you see that uh, video graphic service has been created and if you see the status it's started and uh, it also created one proxy service that is started as well so if I click on Visio graphic service you will see that there are uh, some more uh, settings if I go into global settings you will see that uh, there is uh, some different type of things including uh, cache size maximum cache age uh, I'm leaving it default similarly if we go into the trusted data provider you will see that these are the list of the trusted data provider uh, you can also add a new trusted data provider if you have uh, someone uh, some different from this list but I'm leaving it default because I already have a SQL native client or SQL server so if we go again into uh, this and uh, see you can see that it's uh, available in web of uh, Visio web access previously it was not being opened I uh, refreshed it and uh, similarly you can add some commands here uh, you are logging as sp19 similarly you can refresh the page and do anything you like uh, I thank you all for watching this video